This is Dave White, co-director of the Arizona State University Decision Center for a Desert City. Today I will demonstrate WaterSim, our signature socio-hydrology systems dynamics model. WaterSim uses an anticipatory modeling approach designed to build capacity for sustainable water resource management and climate change adaptation with an application to the Phoenix, Arizona metropolitan area. The user interface includes four dashboards. The Sustainability Indicators dashboard provides a snapshot of the results of the simulation. The Output dashboard gives more detailed information on the simulation of climate and river flows, water supplies, water demand, reservoirs and river levels, and a graphic display of the sustainability indicators. The Policy Choices dashboard includes a series of slider bars for the user to explore the impact of policy interventions to promote sustainable water resource management. The Settings dashboard allows the user to customize the spatial and temporal resolution of the model, create and save scenarios, and run reports. In the base case scenario, the model reflects current conditions. While the Phoenix area has, by many measures, a robust and resilient physical water system, stakeholders agree new solutions are necessary to address significant challenges, including climate change impacts. Using the model, we can explore these uncertainties and management options. To do this, we will first simulate the effects of drought and climate change by first selecting a low flow period from the historical record and then reducing river flows on the Colorado River to about half of historical levels and river flows on the Salt and Verde River are set to approximately 30 percent of historical levels. Running the model shows how this will impact the sustainability indicators and especially storage in the reservoirs. The user can then explore policy options to address these challenges. One commonly suggested management strategy cited by stakeholders is to be more efficient in how we use water. We can simulate this by decreasing projected water use by as much as half, which would require fairly aggressive policy to implement. Running the model shows that this reduces gallons per capita per day lowers reliance on groundwater modeling, and increases years of sustainable groundwater use, but not to levels that align with our sustainability goals. Another potential intervention is to transfer water rights currently used by agriculture to urban uses. We can simulate this by implementing policy that purchases half of the agricultural water rights for use to meet urban demands. While this increases the years of sustainable groundwater, it does not have a large impact on percent groundwater use because some of the agricultural users have groundwater rights, thus that pumping continues. To enhance sustainability, we may choose to use more of our treated municipal effluent to meet urban water needs. We can simulate this by increasing the production and use of reclaimed water to 50% of effluent reused for urban water uses. This gain improves the sustainability metrics, but again does not provide the full solution. This brief demonstration shows how urban water sustainability and climate change adaptation involves significant trade-offs between multiple competing values and priorities for water use. The online WaterSim model includes a wizard that provides a step-by-step -step introduction to the model, help files, and full technical documentation. This has been Dave White with the Decision Center for a Desert City at Arizona State University.